The history of protest fashion is actually quite spectacular. Fashion can represent justice in a lot of ways. It can basically put a visual to a movement. So this collaboration has been months in the making. First, we came up with the dress idea. I called Amir Tari, who's an incredible up-and-coming Iranian-American designer based in New York. And then uh, Milad Ahmadi, another Iranian-American uh, designer, came on board for the print elements. I said, why don't we come up with a collaboration and we donate all of the proceeds to charity. And the charities are so near and dear to my heart. It's Care for Calais, it's Amnesty International, for which I'm an ambassador, and Abdul Rahman Burman Center, which is an Iran-focused human rights organization. So after many, many Zooms and calls and swatches and seeing various fabric and color palette, we landed on the sort of midnight blue background with saffron and yellow elements in it. The yellow in particular, the gold and the yellow, is the ray of light that we think that women, brave women in Iran, embody and personify in their advocacy work and speaking truth to power. What people don't know is that women in Iran, they may not know is that women in Iran don't have the freedom to choose what to wear. There's compulsory hijab, there's dress codes. And so we just wanted to use fashion as a way to amplify their voices. The history of protest fashion is actually quite spectacular. Fashion can represent justice in a lot of ways. It can basically put a visual to a movement. Look, guys, look. It's got pockets. It's got this cute belt. You can wear it with, you can wear it without. But look, look. Love it. Human rights advocacy can be really dark and we don't often have time to celebrate the victories. And it's nice to be able to use something like fashion, which is ultimately about freedom of expression, to celebrate and amplify the voices of brave freedom fighters. Women in Iran who are fighting every day for their basic human rights. The freedom of expression is a basic human right that we should all have everywhere across the world. We need to be able to celebrate the victories and celebrate those individuals across the world who are making a huge difference and, and making the world a better place.